G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab and I want to tell you about ICO. Now, look, ICO is a new brand in Australia of solar panels, but you've probably already got their cells on your roof. Actually, they're one of the major manufacturers of solar cells. They have been for decades. In fact, something like 120 gigawatts of their cells have been produced already. And now they're making panels. They also have the most efficient commercially available module on the market at 24% conversion efficiency. That's amazing. So the highest quality product is now available through ICO. Anyway, let's learn some more about it from good old Ross Crawford. Check it. G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. I'm here today at the Smart Energy Expo with Ross Crawford from ICO. G'day Ross. Hey Glenn, good to see you mate. Good to see you. Now, um, for those viewers who don't know who ICO are, it's I call them the sleeping giant. I, I thought you'd be correct. Yeah. Um, we are a sleeping giant. We have been, as we're now bringing out an actual panel brand, brand into the market, people are beginning to get noticed. But ICO have been around since 2009 developing and manufacturing solar cells. So we started manufacturing the solar cells in 2009. We're now the second largest solar cell manufacturer globally. I saw on the slide last night, 120 gigawatts? Yeah, of, of cell output into the market. So, so, so we've, wow. we've certainly played a big part in reducing um, carbon emissions. So a, a lot of viewers probably don't even realize they've got ICO cells on their roof because they're branded by another module manufacturer. But now ICO are bringing out their own modules. 100%. So about four years ago, ICO developed their own all-back contact cell. And off the back of that, they set up their own solar panel manufacturing, which we now have 25 gigawatts of, cell, of man, panel manufacturing capacity. Two years ago, we launched it to the Europe market where we've done extremely well. And last year, um, our panel was named Best Panel at into solar due to its high efficiency and certain te technological advances and we're now launching into the Australian market. And I learned at the, the launch here in Sydney yesterday that you've got the highest efficiency commercially available modules in the world. Yeah, just about 24%, 23.9% it is. Let's call it 24. Yeah, let's call it 24, <laughs> round it up, round it up. Um, and then we also uh, announced last week um, the highest efficiency of a panel of 25.15%, which hopefully we'll see in production in not too distant future. It's incredible, it's incredible. I mean, I I started 30 years ago and we were looking at you know the low teens yeah. so we've come a long way there's some cle clever engineers out there designing these products yeah so ICO is going to be a big mover in the solar panel industry now not just the cell manufacturing but definitely not just a cell manufacturer that business will continue yep. and it will continue to service many manufacturers across the globe but uh, panels is what my role I'm focused on and we will certainly be making a big push in the Australian market now if we look around here at the panels you've got a, a range of sizes. Why don't we look at this one over here? So this is your Neo Star. Do you want to go and stand in front of it? So this is our, our Neo Star, Glenn. This is a all back uh, all back contact. All panels are all back contact, but this is with the black back sheet. Why back contact? Black contact. What we're doing with all back contact is we're exposing more cell area to sunlight. And then by having this unique grid design at the back of the, the cell, what that does as well is it allows us to uh, transport the more electrons more efficiently. Right, so no self-shading from a grid on the front. It yeah. used to be uh, bus bar wars. How many bus bars could you fit on the front of a cell? Yeah, <laughs> soon there'll be too many bus bars. <laughs> now over here, the next one, what have we got here? This is a larger residential? It's the exact same size and dimensions as a previous panel. However, this is a dual glass panel. Ah. So if we looked at the rear of it, you'd actually be able to see some of the architecture of the Let's cell. Let's look around the back. Oh, so pretty. I'd like this on a carport. And what we have, yeah, it would look fantastic. What we have is this grid design. So coming down, the bus bar's coming down, and then across with some fingers. There's virtually no wasted space in your modules too. We I was trying to fit as much, much in as possible. <laughs> and you've got some big ones over here. This is your utility. Shall we go and check those out? Yep. So this one, this, this panel over here, Glenn, is actually for the CNI market space. So uh, 23, 23 by 1134, and available up to 630 watts 
and 24% efficiency. It uses an exact same technology as our residential panels. So these are all back contact? All back contact. Right. All back contact is standard throughout all our panels. So do these come in bifacial as well? Yes, they do come in bifacial as well. So Wow. Yeah, I, I love bifacial. Yeah. Great for planets with two suns. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Absorb that reflection. Yeah, yeah, I've got some. And what have we got here? What's this one? This is a new panel, and this is a lightweight panel. Whoa. So this is only 8.8 .8 kilos. So 8.8 .8 kilos give you 450 watts. So oh my gosh. You may have some sites where engineers might not pass a roof for rooftop solar because of the weight. Yes. Uh, this is probably the perfect option for those sites due to the low weight of those panels. And it's got like a bead pattern on the front. Yeah, so what we've done is we've eliminated glass and there's another another material that we use there that's much lighter than glass. Yes. Um, to, to obviously make that panel um, a little bit boutique for those particular installs. And lastly, we've got a few around the front here. What are these? Uh, this is our clever little um, experiment here. So we have the ICO panel over there to our right. Yes. And then over here, what we have is a competitor panel. Same wattage? Say, no, the ICO panel, same dimensions, 470 watts. Oh, yes. This panel over here, 440. Okay, so more watts out of the same footprint. Yeah. So what we're running, we're running DC from the panel down to these little pumps on the floor over here. And what we're going to show you is the shade optimization. Oh, I love a demo. Show me. So if we cover our competitor panel ooh, over ooh, here, ooh. hang on. You can see. I'll just. Yep. We'll cover it. Yep. You can see that the generation drops straight straight away. Right. But my colleague over here is going to cover the ICO panel in the exact same spot. And you'll see that will continue. So it just reduces the flow. Yeah, but not. But not stops. We can more or less cover the entire panel. If it, <laughs> and you will see the ICO panel will continue to generate. Oh, this is a great demo. I've, I've never seen anyone do this before. Yeah, and you've got a little LED power strip showing the exactly. power production or the current. <laughs> so a very unique selling point of the, the ICO portfolio of solar panels. Yeah, cool. Well, um, Ross, thanks very much for showing us around ICO. I think I'm going to see a lot more ICO on the market very soon. You certainly will. Thanks very much for coming along, Glenn. <laughs> Have a great day. Okay. Cheers.